Okay, so I'm just trying to look human here. <laughs> Give me a sec. Is that on? Yeah. I don't want to be in the videos. I don't. So I had to redo this because I made a video and I literally was like about to go in the shower because I didn't have good lighting down the basement because Athena moved it. So I couldn't really, you know, show my, my painting because this, uh, this mirror was there and I was like standing in it. Anyway, it's hilarious. Um, you couldn't see anything because the phone was in front of my boobies, but it was funny as hell. Anyway, um, I'm now almost dressed. I just don't have pants on, as you can see. No pants. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting there slowly. Now, here's today's very brief uh, bloom effort. This time I did four, inspired by Shawarman Milky Way Designs on YouTube. Beautiful Indian name, I, and she has an accent, so I think she may be from that part of the planet where they really put a premium on beauty and color and vibrancy and all that stuff so it makes sense her work would be amazing and it is she does all her blowouts with her mouth uh which at least as far as i've been watching and i did these with mine as well i'm still not as good as some people this one was done with a white cell activator and i did have cells but then i when i modified it with my skewer and then t uh, put it on the the spinner a lot of the modifications just turn into lines and none of the cells really remained i mean there may be some somewhere i don't know in this one uh some cells remained but again i, I made a real effort to modify the cells and um this one too which is more contrast because it used a, cell, a black cell activator as did that one didn't all tip off though because it was a much larger one and they should have all been the same and they should have all been closer to the center which they were not they were too far away I wanted them to have four corners and that's what I'm calling this painting four corners but I'm not gonna pour over it I'm gonna keep it because it's, there's some things I really do like in this um I went back and fixed some areas that looked like they did need some modification because they were just doing nothing I mean, they needed some kind of movement, but it's already starting to set. I accidentally dipped my my um, clothes in there, so there's a little divot there. Hope it fills in. We don't have flow troll in this paint, so that leveling that we're all used to happening isn't going to happen. This is just pillow paint, and it's the almost all of my bottle of boomerang uh, paint, and it's the the what's it called? When you touch velvet, the velvet, I would get semi gloss if I do happen to order. It was $30 and they delivered it straight to my house. If I can't get a good deal by walking over with my cart to deluxe, like two for one, then there's no point in going there. So I'm going to call them. If they don't have a good deal, I might as well pay $30 for a paint I really like. Okay, so here's the, the other one. Again, these all used similar colors, but in different order and some with different cell activator. This one, again, I used a black cell activator, but it does have some pretty cool, I love this twirling here that's almost coming off. The, the edges have the finest parts, but isn't that beautiful uh, for an abstract piece? Like if, if this had nothing else on it, none of this, this alone would be a beautiful, beautiful abstract painting. Uh, the trouble is we we try to go for so much you know at all at once and i think being more spare and and trying to apply that minimalism to my paint which i haven't been doing uh might be an idea for me because that's what how i'm applying i should be doing this with this I should be holding it directly over um i should be doing that. i'm trying to apply that to my life uh, with mixed results it's hard to get rid of a, you know 30 years of stuff and stuff that you paid lots of money to ship from england or to England and back again, and then you end up throwing in the garbage, like, and then shipped to BC, then shipped here, and oh my god, not to mention three moves in BC. Nonetheless, uh, I just don't care about stuff anymore. I just want the stuff that I need, like a mattress, sheets, lights. I don't want anything else but my artwork, I guess, and my music, and photos of the family, and food. Everything else, like even cable at this point, I usually watch just YouTube. 
I think it's a luxury that we can't afford. So I'm probably going to, after that first uh, House of the Dragon, if it, if it sucks, I'm canceling uh, HBO. <laughs> I don't see the point. <laughs> I miss my Game of Thrones so much. But back when it was good and everyone's saying this one's going to be good because there, there's actually books that they're following. So anyway, let's look closely at these. And this was supposed to be a quick video. It's already five minutes. So, you know, it's here. Let's, let's see how it dries. I'll, I'll try to show you that uh, very quickly. Also show you how this one dried uh, very nicely. No crazing. Just a little bit of, no, those that's just lines. No, no crazing. It feels like velvet. Like, again, you shouldn't be touching your paintings anyway, but this is like a good four or five days later. This is what it looks like. I still don't like it, but I can, you know, cancel this out and do another um, thing on this. So it's not like it's hopeless. It hasn't been varnished and it won't be. I don't like it enough to varnish it. it do I bother? I don't know. Cause I have like five of these and there's, uh, you know, 60 or something percent off on canvases at Michael's this week. So there's that one. This is the other one. This one here is fully dry. It's been dried for over a week and I'm ready to varnish this baby. So I, I use Varathane triple thick varnish as I, and I put a, I put one, I take a, a roller or something that has water on it. So I put a little bit of water on there and the second roller has the varnish on there. And that little coat of water in between, it, it makes the biggest difference. I know it doesn't sound like it would, but it does. Um, it, the varnish is so much different. It's so much more glassy and amazing so it just really ups it that that water trick which some artists showed me to do anyway um yeah so this is today's four corners not bad i hate it when there's a weak area there but they're all so unique that maybe someone will like this on their wall one day or it'll just end up in on my wall as a reminder to put your blooms even if you don't want them to look like flowers closer to the center so that when they do blow out they go over the edge but most of them stays in the middle anyway that's it from me moi okay i'm not a, a ashamed of myself i just don't want to be on camera but thanks to all the people supporting watching these videos and being so supportive about my artwork i i do plan to get really really good at this when i sit when i multiply certain types of art on one canvas, then you're going to see what I'm made of. Okay. Love you. Love you, Ma. I, I don't know if people are clicking like. I can't see it on my end, but I'm going to try to find out why. Okay. Take care, everybody. Have a great one. It's really hot here. So that's why I'm glad I did this in the morning. And I did this right after I put the garbage out. So I was up and early. Love you all. Bye-bye.